hedge, guys. Just gotta take my coat off here, and then I can show you how to do something that I can do. There we go. This was Greek yogurt. Put it in some cheesecloth. It's been stirring. See that in there? Barely. Ah, shit. We didn't use it. Well, that liquid at the bottom there is some whey, which will make these fermented ginger carrots work way faster and be a little bit healthier for us. This was about a thumb of ginger. A little bit bigger than that. I can't see it. I have to hold the computer like this so that I can see what this is. Showing you stripe. So I shredded up that thumb of ginger. I'm about to peel these two carrots. If you ever change your mind about leaving, leaving me behind, oh, bring it to me. Bring your sweet loving. Bring it on home to me, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a boring process, doing these carrots. Be thankful that I'm not showing you the entire thing. All right. So, I didn't need both carrots. These are the shreddings of but one carrot. Apparently, a piece of ginger slightly bigger than my thumb, grated, and a single decently long carrot should be sufficient. I got this mason jar. This just came out of the dishwasher like less than an hour ago. You gotta make sure this is sanitized. That's the important part. Well, there are lots of important parts, but it's very important to make sure your sanitation is proper. Just stuff in here. Just stuff it all right in there. Probably could have filled a little bit more in there. Could have probably used one of the like slightly larger yellow carrots that I have. Filled this thing up a little bit more, but you know. I want some purple carrot pickles with ginger for flavor and nutrition. To this jar, we will be adding come on, there we go, a tablespoon of sea salt, which we keep in this old Parmesan container. Because we reuse and recycle. Two teaspoons of season de rice with vinegar. We're going a little Asian with this, I guess. No, I mean it's ginger, so pickled carrots and ginger. It, it seemed appropriate. And. And finally, one tablespoon of this whey that I mentioned previously. So let's hope I don't spill this all over my nice cutting board. All right, all right, safe. Got a single tablespoon of whey, Brett. 
basically, this is going to make this pickling process happen much faster. You don't need this, and extracting it from yogurt is a little bit extra. Not a lot, but a little bit extra. Um, but you just need to add more salt and a fair bit more vinegar and wait longer for your pickles to ferment. If you do that, it should be done in a couple of days. I'm not going to lie to you guys, I do a lot of this by guesswork. I think I need a little bit more liquid, you know, at least dissolve the salt in there a little bit more. So, I'm going to add a little bit more rice vinegar. So, you can up that to just a tablespoon. Because a tablespoon is three teaspoons. Just learned you something. And another teaspoon. Oh, way correct. It's a heaping teaspoon of whey. And now I will take our sterilized lid. Apply the screw. Sure, I got it. Good and tight. And apply a genuine shaking. You can add a little bit of water to this if you want to. It'll make this all dissolve a little bit faster. Um, that is what I'm helping right now. You can also add a little bit of sugar to this. I thought about putting fish sauce in, but that sounded kind of trife. Uh, okay. Pickled ginger carrots, or pickling ginger carrots. And in a day or so, I'll tell you all how those are, I guess. And I'm about to figure out what to do with this yogurt cheese.